Sweet dreams, my LAX. But before you bid your farewell, dare to dream and find your lover at number 22. <laughs> <laughs> Vlogs.com. You know, when I stand next to you, I just see like pageantry all over. Oh, no way! Yeah. <laughs> Seriously! No way. And a little bird, who is our deputy editor, yeah. Porik, says that actually you were in that beauty pageant world, right? Mm. You tried for the Rose of Traley? I might have dabbled. Uh. I might have dabbled. <laughs> Tell us about it. Um, I don't know, it's just a bit of crack. Like, the Rose of Chile is pretty big in Ireland, so it's like, you know, it's like a, it's kind of like a pageant, except it's not really on looks, it's more about personality, and you know, all that crack. But there's like the Rose Selection. Shout out to Claire Rose Selection. I love you. Um, Kieran organised that, and he, he got on to me. And you know what, it was the best crack ever. Do you know the way everybody's here now, right? Yeah. And they're all having the crack. And they're all getting on. That's what the rose is like. The rose actually is like. Oh, really? That. Everybody's so nice. And it's just the same vibe. Like, it's just it's lovely. Yeah. So, you know, if you become Miss Ireland, what what would you like to see in the world? <laughs> the rose actually. If I became the rose actually, um, what would I like to see in the world? Yeah. What vi- What is your vision of the world? Um, To be happier be a happier place just positive vibes only please yeah and you know it's a really important point because even though you sing this song 22 which yeah. can have really dark undertones yeah your delivery <laughs> yeah. is quite <laughs> number 22 yeah. i've had to yeah i've had to work with that because that could go two directions that could go two directions mm. we don't want know? it to go the other direction <laughs> <laughs> arm yourself with a knife when you knock on number 22 <laughs> with a pickaxe yeah literally <laughs> We've got to talk about your musical journey, which has involved San Marino. I know. At yeah, some point. Yeah. I could have been represented San Marino. You could have represented San Marino. Yeah. Anybody could have. You could have as well. It was open selection. <laughs> so. <laughs> it was a bit of crack, like. Yeah, Elva and Linda Persons. I've been working with them. <laughs> My ribs are hurting. I was. I've been working with them a bit. Like they're they're very extremely talented songwriters. So, um, after the voice, they kind of found me on Facebook and stuff, and they were like, "Hey, you want to work together?" I was like, "Hey, yeah, I do." So let's record a few songs. We sent in a few to the Irish selection um, for a couple of years, and then they were like, "Hey, you know what? It's open selection in San Marino. So do you want to go with it?" I was like, "Ah, sure, why not?" nothing to lose like so yeah and submitting a few songs was 22 your favorite of the submissions that were submitted yeah i didn't really get to hear the other ones the song was picked before me so ah yeah but actually have you heard it now post the the other ones now? no but i do know that one of El- elva and linda person's songs was in it because uh, that's how they found, found my voice because they were like yeah but of course, Sarah, yeah. a psychic predicted all of this beforehand, didn't it? That psychic yeah. said you were going to do The Voice, you yeah. were going to do Eurovision. Yeah. Like, I'm not joking. You think I'm mad. I'm not mad. I'm not joking you. Like, genuinely. I was literally, I texted him the other night. I was like, what do you predict him to? Well, well, he was what like, do you predict of the final result? Yeah. Where do I place? <laughs> um, and he was like, first, no, I'm going to joke ah! I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Um, no, I, I was texting him, I was just like, hey, how are you? Um, hope you're well. Um, what you call it? Yeah, guess what? I'm in your vision like you predicted. <laughs> and um, he was like, honey, it's only the start for you. He said something really nice like that. Like, not just in general, like, for my career musically. Wise. So he's such a nice guy. So, yeah. And speaking of your careers, 22, that's going to be on your EP, right? Yeah. And what what's the style of the other songs on it? And do you have a title for it yet? Well, you know what? I'm still writing and stuff like that. So I think the style that I would be going in the direction for would probably be soul pop, kind of that kind of direction. So, ah. Yeah, yeah. Like I kind of, I like kind of singing solely stuff. That's where I'm comfortable. That's my sweet spot. So, but I also like pop. But I also like an awful lot of other things. But I'm very indecisive. But I think that's the direction I'm probably. But I mean, that's a good thing as well because then yeah. you can go in in any direction really. Yeah. And what's the songwriting process been like? Are you doing it all solo, or have you got um, co writing on board. Oh, co-writers. So basically, I am like I can play the guitar, but not at a, like an advanced level, and I can play the piano, but not an advanced level. Like I can play a lot of things, just not very well. Um, and it's like 
me trying to tell you a story, but I need a translator. So I co-write with people and like, you know, I dream of songs. I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh my God, there's the bass line. And I'll be like, I'll be like in my phone, do, 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 do. Like, and then, like, I'm not even joking. Or I'll be like, I don't listen to the radio in my car. I think like, I'm constantly putting voices on my phone and then I just need someone to help me piece them together, like with the guitar and stuff. So yeah. Well, and you're going to help me pose. So that's how we're going to close this interview. We're going to look in there okay. and you're going to teach me how the rows of trailies should do this, yeah? Okay, I don't, okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. Okay, I'll try my best, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so put this leg there. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. Push knee over. Yeah. Turn your hip. And now smolder. Eurovision <laughs> News with Attitude, Sarah McTiernan, and she is rocking it. You are going to see her in Israel on your YouTube screen. She is fierce. She is fabulous. And if you haven't checked into number 22, you better do because she's going to come knocking. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Bye.